hi guys so welcome back to my channel uh today i would like to talk about something very sensitive i would like to talk about anxiety anxiety is a uh, is something that most of us deal with some of us we know what we are dealing with then some people just don't know what they're dealing with but i would like to really delve into that whole topic because uh, anxiety is real especially in our society today uh so let me just try and explain it the best way i can so the dictionary defines anxiety as being uh, worried about something that is meant to happen. You're always constantly thinking what could have or what will happen. So that is how the dictionary explains anxiety. So for me, uh, why anxiety is personal to me is that I went through it for a very long time. And during my whole period of being in that state of anxiety most of the time this is what i realized you find that we tend to worry about so many things for me in particular it was uh, for instance if i was going somewhere or if i was meant to go somewhere and then it came to my attention that for example that the the bus or the car is supposed to use uh, got into an accident and everybody died or everybody was severely injured i would unconsciously slip into a state of anxiety and i would think to myself oh my god that could have been me or oh, that could be me any other day i mean what are the odds that i survived that accident what are the odds that these people died and i survived or was i just trying to escape for that day but it will soon catch up to me those are some of the things i realized as dealing with and it's really really frustrating if you're dealing with anxiety because you're just wrestling with your thoughts and you can't even get a grip of them you're either thinking about this could happen or this will happen or it would have happened had i not been here had i was constantly in that state and i forgot one thing i forgot about god because for me everything that i've dealt with in my life god has been at the center of it all especially for <clears throat> excuse me for anxiety i realized i used to worry and worry and worry and then it never crossed my mind that hey perhaps i survived this accident or i survived the bad situation because god is by my side because you know he says in the scriptures that the promises he has for us are for prosperity and not disaster and the the devil always has something negative something evil or is always in the corner but then because of god because of god by his grace we are still alive by his grace we get to see another day so for me that is how i started to that's how i started to get rid of my anxiety i realized i'm not in control i'm not the architect of my life god is so whatever happens in my life i have no control i could be seated here talking to you and who knows what will happen to me the next minute i mean that is how i decided to view life and just leave everything to god because even if you worry nothing ever good will come from it if something has happened you won't change the past or if something that is supposed to happen and you have no control over it it will still happen so i realized anxiety really is just a game of thoughts it's just it's a state of mind and you know actually i did a poem about anxiety so demons like you demons like anxiety cannot possess my brain leaving me to drown in an ocean of my own sorrows anxiety is just a game of thoughts a game of illusions and delusions orchestrated to disorganize our belief system you guys should get time and check it out honestly i think you'll find it very insightful for me anyways i know someone dropped a comment in my in my in my inbox and said sarah how do you deal with anxiety because for me i'm on even medication and all that stuff and for me i just told them i just told him honestly for me the whole the solution has been god because it's something i have no control over sometimes i'm trying to stop my thoughts from spinning out of control sorry spinning out of control and it just become a whole mess so i just tell god to take charge i tell god to take control i just try my best to let go and not think about it because thinking about it yet i don't have a solution doesn't it doesn't make any sense apart from having headaches and slipping into a state of depression so I, I just stop so my advice to you everyone out there who's struggling with anxiety you need to ask yourself you're worrying about something that has happened or you think will happen but do you have do you have control over it if you don't have control over it then why are you wasting your time thinking about it there's someone in charge of our lives there's god god said it himself 
cast all your cares and burdens unto me. Come to me, all of you who are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. So for me, that is my advice to you, dealing with anxiety. You don't have to go through it alone, because I tried for the longest time. God knows I tried for years and years, trying to get rid of my anxiety. But I realized it's not my battle. The battle is definitely not mine. I just let go, and I let go. I just tell God, please help me. Let it be uh, anything from interviews or planning something for the future i really i can get very very anxious and i can can explain why but that is when i just tell god please just help me i i develop this personal relationship with him where even when i'm walking i can i can just talk to him and say god please this is stressing me i take care of it to me my relationship with christ is it's more like having an imaginary friend yeah so I just speak to him, even if I don't, I don't get down on my knees and pray and humble myself. As long as I'm walking, I'm sitting, I'm running, exercising, whatever it is, I just tell him, God, please help me. This thing is really stressing me out. And even if it's the slightest of things, you know, that's the, that's the challenge that we most people have. You can think of something and you think, wow, it's something so small. Why would I bother God with this? I mean, you should only go to God with big issues. But ask yourself this, what? what what quantifies something to be a big issue what matrix do you use for that to be a big issue that's what i told myself so what i do is i just tell god something very small like you know what god i'm going to meet this person but i'm really scared of this person this person seems to be too tough or too scary i tend to lose control whenever i'm around this person so god please help me Help me let this meeting go well. Help me let this conversation go well. Help me let everything work out in my favor. Please, Lord, help me. So for me, that's how I deal with anxiety. And what I've realized is that unconsciously, I've said to my anxiety levels have really reduced. That's what I can really say. Yeah, from time to time, anxiety may be there. But I think on a human level, it is this normal anxiety. It's not like how it used to be of I spin out of control and I feel sick. I get a temperature. I'm too anxious and I can't even help myself. I got past that. And for me, my answer is good. I don't know about you, but if everything else fails, please try good. Try good.